This is a demo that's using uh, Excel 2013 and showing a few of the tips that I offered in class for fluid mechanics uh, graphs. Uh, you can see here is some XY data. On the X axis is going to be the time that's elapsed during some event. And then on the Y axis is going to be the flow rate that has occurred at a certain time. And so I want to come up with a graph. And the concern that I had previously uh, as, as I mentioned in class today, is if you just make a graph and it starts off without showing any of the actual data points, um, then um, that can imply sort of a false sense of cur uh, curve linearity that may not be there. So this is the sort of graph that many of the students were providing where it's not actually showing the data points. Uh, so instead of that, if we create a graph, uh, you say insert chart and here you can choose any of the uh, options that you'd like. You can have it just be the points, it can be the scatter with the points connected and so on and even if you've made one you can switch between them. So let's say if it's just going to be the points. Now I don't have the data selected but you notice up here uh, in the chart tools is highlighted and there I can switch between the formatting of the chart and the design of the chart. For the design of the chart I want to select the data and add select the X values that's going to be the time and I can select the Y values which is going to be the flow rate and you can see now it's providing those uh, those marks there and um, I could put in a title in this case it's flow versus time and um, if I want to put on axis labels I can go into the formatting of it Oops, design. Oh yeah, they've, they have changed a little bit, but I, I remember where it is. So when you click on the chart over here are the options for adding in things like the axis labels. So plus gives me the chance if I want to have the axis titles. And now here is where I can put in flow rate and this is uh, cubic feet per second and uh, down here is time in hours so that's a good graph um, it's showing the actual data points if I want to have the dots connected then uh, the thing to do is I can um, right click and change the chart type so I was outside of the graph but if I right click in the graph change chart type and then it's given me the option to toggle between just the points or I can have it smoothed and showing the points. Let's see what that looks like. So that's not so bad. It's showing the smooth thing which implies relationships that may not necessarily be supported by the data but at least in this case the uh, points themselves are shown. Um, when I don't have enough data points to, uh, to support the curvature that may otherwise be guessed at by Excel, then the chart type that I would do often is just to have it be these jagged lines where there isn't any curvature between them. So uh, you can see that that's what's on the screen there. One other issue is when there's excessive uh, digits shown on, uh, on the axis number labels, you can see that um, I'm going to want to deal with the scaling. So I'll right click on the vertical axis and uh, format axis the problem is sometimes that there are um, too many digits that are shown and the way that you can control that may be um, maybe access through here under the number and uh, right now uh, I can have it be you know, if it, the default thing is general and I wanted to show extra digits, I can switch it over to number and then here is the decimal places and so in some cases there's too many decimals, you know, all those extra zeros at the end there aren't really doing anything. So I could change it here to be zero decimals and then the uh, problem is solved there. Uh, same thing if I want to deal with this axis, all the format axis options come up automatically. So I've got a chart and I want to format the axis options And double click on it and it brings it up so what I did there is I just double clicked well, let's see we're going, going from scratch here so there's nothing I've just got my chart here double click on the axis and it brings up the options 
it's the numbers that I want to adjust and then uh, I could if I wanted to put it in scientific notate notation here you can control how many decimals are shown and so on or I could have it be a number and control the number of decimals so uh, that's basically the uh, the things that I wanted to demonstrate for you in this uh, video and if you've got any questions please feel free to stop by and I'd be happy to show you what I know about Excel and there's a lot to learn with the new version 2013 but um, I think probably it's just a matter of getting used to where the new buttons are